So I did a little bit of an experiment this week. I crafted 1,000 hats in TF2, which, to my knowledge, is the most that anyone has ever crafted on YouTube. That's 3,000 refined metal, 60 full backpack slots, 132 minutes of non-stop crafting, and $75 spent. All done in the name of answering the ultimate question, is this profitable? The answer might surprise you. The first thing I wanted to figure out was how many unique hats you could actually craft. And you'd think that after years of no new added craftable items, there'd be some consensus on the answer. Apparently not. This Reddit post says 397, the TF2 wiki says 428, this forum post says 582, and this spreadsheet got thrown the fuck out. Eventually, I stumbled upon a guy who had crafted every single cosmetic in the game. I ended up contacting him, and he gave me the number of exactly 600, discounting all promotional items. So shoutouts to Nickman for figuring this shit out. He notes it could be one or two off, but this'll work for now. So within the pool of the 600 potential craftable hats, I managed to craft 491 of them, or about 82%. Not too shabby for a system with zero bad luck protection. Yeah, RNGesus seems very intent on giving me half a dozen duplicates for classes I don't even play, but a goddamn kitchen pot is apparently too much to ask for. I play TF2 for content, guys. I don't need another seven reasons to stay heated. However, Quality does always trump quantity, except on YouTube, so uh... But let's get into the real meat, the money. Did this absurd experiment manage to put me in the green? Well, first of all, it's vital to understand that the vast majority of hats are crafted at a net loss. Of all 1,000 hats, only 153 netted a profit above 3 refined, the default crafting fee. But that doesn't really tell the whole story. There are some that just barely skirt over the profit line, like the Toowoomba Tunic and Mr. Quacks over here. But then you have items like the Buck Turner All-Stars and the Dead of Night, which are valued at over a dozen times their crafting fees. But unfortunately, each of these items are individually rarer than unboxing and unusual. So these big ticket bonuses don't move the needle as much as you'd hope. Out of the 3,000 refined metal consumed while crafting, I managed to make nearly 2,400 of it back. So there it is. Case closed. Crafting is unprofitable in TF2. Well, not entirely. You may have noticed these little numbers beside some of these cosmetics. They represent how much of each hat has been crafted into existence up to that point. Now, only the first 1,000 crafts of any cosmetic are ever visible in-game, but despite that, depending on the number, some of them can still jack up the price quite a fair bit. Sure, the days of crafting the low numbers are far behind us, but that doesn't mean all hope is lost because some cosmetics are dangerously close to approaching a certain combination of haha -ha funny numbers. And today, I'm happy to announce that during this experiment, I managed to craft... Zero. Yeah, I, I got none of these. But I did get something even better. Take a look at this engineer. Do you notice anything different about him? New jacket, got a little bit of belly showing, or how about those fucking titties? Looks like the Just Chatting section got a new partnered streamer. Or, you know, the Reddit moderation team. I'm just saying, the reindeer horns ain't the only exquisite rack in this inventory. <laughs> this estrogen pill masquerading as a fat suit is what we like to call the Eggheads overalls, and it's a very special item. But the one I managed to craft is the most special. Because while I may not have been able to cop myself a flashy 69420, I did manage something even better. Six, oh, oh, six, five. Confused? Well, let me spell it out for you. Yep, that is the boob number. I can confidently say that I am the only person on the planet that can claim ownership to Del Conagher's Tiggle Bitties with the boob number. Is that worth the 600 ref I lost? Backpack.tf might say no, but my heart says fuck yes, dude. This is perhaps the single greatest moment of my entire TF2 career. Wait, there's a lowercase and an uppercase boob number? Fuck. All right, fine. So maybe I don't have the one and only boob number. But you know what I do have? A challenge. The 100% self-craft challenge. Guys, why not? Look at all the pretty colors. Isn't this more satisfying than looking at one hat with some fancy particles? 
Okay, maybe not, but this one will satiate my crippling gambling addiction and get more ref out of the economy, so I think this is pretty rad. If anyone wants to join me on this journey, let me know in the comments below, but I know most people are smart enough not to blow their money on virtual hats instead of... I don't know, rent or trivial things like that. Obviously, this video is wildly different from anything else I've put out, but after spending a month on a video about a niche topic that ended up getting demonetized for too much profanity, I've opted to put on my clown shoes and stop taking things so seriously. MBM content will resume, but if you like seeing me branch out, who knows, maybe I'll do it again soon. Anyways, like the video if you enjoyed it, subscribe to the channel for more content, join the Discord, follow me on Twitter, and craft some damn hats for once. Come on. Just do it. See ya.